Hello! In this session you will learn how to use linked data sources with Pool Party. By using existing data sources, you can automatically enlarge and enrich your knowledge graph. I will introduce you to some linked data sources and you will see how you can enable linked data management in Pool Party and enrich your taxonomy automatically with additional information. There will be also an advanced session on linked data, but now let's start with the basics. First of all, what is linked data? Linked data are web resources based on the RDF scheme. There are publicly available resources and others that you need to buy in order to use for your standards-based knowledge model. Don't forget when you build a knowledge model with Pool Party uh, and use it for an application, then you also create linked data, but it is up to you if you share this data or keep it closed. Enterprises can use um, linked data technologies exclusively within their intranet and therefore benefit from web technologies within their corporate environment. However, sharing data within a partner ecosystem becomes nowadays very relevant when you think of our data-driven economy and the necessity of new business models. So please consider linked data also as an interesting opportunity for business innovation. In Pool Party, there is a collection of linked data sources accessible by default. Other sources can be easily added on demand. The selected resources prove to be used most often by knowledge engineers. Dpedia is the machine-readable Wikipedia and contains so-called world knowledge. LCSH stands for Library Congress Subject Headings and contains a broad selection of cultural knowledge, as for example, information on famous personalities over many centuries or books. GeoNames is a geographical database and supports geo applications. Um, GeoNames covers over 8 million place names, country statistics, postal codes, maps. WordNet is a synonym library, a lexical database, and very helpful when you work with text mining. And Wikidata is relevant for search engine optimization tasks. It is also related to um, the Wikipedia data, but with another focus. It really depends on your project which source will fit best to enrich your thesaurus. Let me show you an example which exemplifies how useful linked data is for semantic applications or what it enables you to do with low effort. You see here a cocktail recommender um, engine, so you can select different ingredients and then you get um, cocktail recipes um, displayed. So I'm gonna select vodka and orange juice and now you see that I could mix with this ingredients a screwdriver, but the application even provides me um, with further recommendations as for example with cocktails where only a few additional ingredients are missing, so perhaps I could easily mix them as well and then I get also variations of cocktails which are very similar to the, my exact matching co cocktail and where the chances are high that I will also like these um, variations. So and when I select the cocktail you see that I get the recipe displayed and I can um, read this recipe also in different languages. So the recommendation engine is uh, first of all based on a pool party taxonomy about the knowledge domain cocktails and the semantic integrator server. And the content as um, the pictures and the recipes in different languages have been enriched by the International Bartenders Association web resources and um, Dpedia. So we simply used data that was already available and integrated it in our application. That's the main benefit of linked data. And now I will show you how you can work with this linked data um, in the back end so that you um, finally come up with such an application as you have um, seen here. 
Link data sources in pool party have to be enabled first before you can use them. Click the advanced menu up here to select the linked data sources you need. In our example, I select the English version of DBpedia and GeoNames. I then click Add Selected. Then I change to the Selected Sources tab. I can see the sources I just added here and then can also choose the options for each. If autocomplete should be used in the linked data options of PoolParty and if I want PoolParty to copy alternative labels and definitions. I select both. I will now add a new concept to the taxonomy, namely Amaretto. It is an alcoholic beverage, an almond flavored liquor, therefore we should add it as a narrower concept at this point of our taxonomy tree. In the previous step I added the DBpedia and GeoNames sources and now when I select a concept from these sources, not only the concept will be included in my tree, additionally alternative labels as well as descriptions will be added. This works because I not only added the linked data sources, but also activated the options to copy data from there. When I want to use the linked data sources to enrich existing concepts, I have to choose a slightly different approach. In order to enrich an existing concept, I have two options. I can click on the link to LOD link inside the concepts details view or use the Link Data tab at the top of its entry. I want to do this for the concept Deserono, and when my concept is active, I can use the link to open the tab and in there the Link button to open the Search dialog. Deserono is pre-filled here and clicking Search will display the matches that Pool Party has found on DBpedia. I have to select from the drop-down which type of relation the found term or phrase maps to. Up here in the Select Scheme field, you can choose the scheme type you want to use, SCOS or OWL for example. When you first open it, you will see SCOS be selected. When you select OWL, its mapping types become available such as same as. Since for our case SCOS is what we need, selecting SCOS as a scheme again, I then choose Exact Match and Save and Close. You can now see the match mapping type in the Concepts Details view. I can use more of the available data then. Clicking Copy Data from DBpedia will display the additional data available for this concept. In our case I choose two, namely Depiction, which is the picture from my concept. I also want to add a definition, which in DBpedia I identify by its cost property rdfschema-comment. In Pool Party, I have this easy way to map the properties to my concepts by using the drop-down clicking Change property. Also a very helpful feature is the possibility to save your preferences here. That way you can easily enrich multiple concepts with additional data by mapping these properties the same way. For the depiction, namely the image used, you can see afterwards here that only the URI is stored in Pool Party, which means Whenever a search application uses the data, it will call the picture from that URI, so that that data is not stored inside Pool Party itself, saving resources that way. The Link Data tab in Pool Party lets you choose how to manage linked data for your search application. Using it linked or copying can open up several possibilities depending on your use case. The power of linked data is that you don't have to store data from other sources in your database. You link the concepts to the sources. But you can copy the content into your taxonomy, as we have done with the definition. But much of the information will be simply relevant for the application which uses the taxonomy as the picture which we did not copy to our server. With Pool Party, you can choose if you manage your URIs um, or if you um, also store some data directly in your um, taxonomy tree, which gives you a certain control over the content and which reduces complications when changes occur in the external data. Yes, and this is how this Cocktail Recommender application works. Um, the recommender engine is based on a taxonomy and the content is derived from different sources 
which are also managed within the taxonomy. Some data as the text is copied and stored in the taxonomy server and some data as the pictures uh, are only stored by the URI and get directly displayed in the application. Now let's have a look on the link data source geonames. I have included in my taxonomy also some cocktail bars in Europe and in the US and in California in Pomona there are some very nice cocktail bars and all cocktail bars I have um, included here have an attribute which is the address. Um, you will learn how to add specific relations and attributes um, in your a learning session about um, custom schemes and ontologies. So for the time being just accept the fact that you can um, extend of course the SCOS functionalities and create much more specific relations and attributes um, with the custom scheme function of pool party. But now I want to show you how you can um, link this concept which has an address with um, the link data source geonames. So I go back to the link data tab and um, I go to geonames and here it works as before with dppedia I can link the concept and um, here you have already the concept displayed with the related URI and I have to select a mapping type and I stick um, to exact matching concept and then you have here at the SCOS um, dashboard the URI from GeoNames displayed. And um, we do not store um, the whole resource, we just really manage the URI. Um, but when we want to indicate in an application um, where the bar is directly within a, a map, we can do so and um, this could become part of our application. We arrived at the end of this session, so we learned that there are different linked data sources which you can use in Pool Party. You have to enable them if you want to use them. And I also showed you that you can use the autocomplete function, which will help you to generate new concepts more efficiently and enrich them automatically with old labels and definitions. But I also showed you um, which other um, options you have when you work through the linked data tab where you can even match the concepts with the OWL standard and where you can enrich your concepts with much more resources. And there is also um, the question if you want to copy um, the data or if you simply want to manage the URIs. In Pool Party, you can decide on your own which approach you choose. And this depends very much on the application you have in mind. There will be an advanced session on link data management where I will show you further um, possibilities to work and benefit um, from link data. So thanks for your attention and see you soon.